Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Asian Psycho, and this time the audio should be fixed. I apologize for the screwed up audio in the last episode featuring the AUG A3 SE. Um, what had happened was now that I, now that I um, know what happened, um, what happened was that um, I had for some reason the computer, my computer automatically toggled my uh, my invoice or the uh, the incoming um, audio through my mic, um, and it. It just boosted the microphone, or it set the microphone boost level up to like 12 dB. I'm not too sure what that means, but it it, it makes it basically allows the mic to pick up more sounds in like a larger area or like a larger radius. But the problem is, for sounds that are closer to it, it sounds a lot more scratchy because it's trying to pick up a lot more sound. So that's what happened last time. So I apologize. Anyways, guys, this time it'll be we'll be taking a look at the FG42, the last episode in the AOG A1 chapter, and um, with this is the Forgeable variant that you can forge in the um, the Gun Emporium with seven replica pallets with the normal AOG A1. Now, let's go into its uh, straight up statistics. Its damage is at a very high 46. Now, this is one point higher than the original AGA ones. So that's that's a bonus. Um, you'll find that the FG42 is indeed very very strong. Uh, portability wise, it's the same as the AGA one at 55. And I now this time I actually agree with Nexon. Uh, the FG42 does feel kind of uh, he on the heavier side of weapons, but that's just my opinion. Anyways, you guys can think of it as you will. Uh, rate of fire is at a 70, so it's a lot slower than the, a the original AG-1. Remember that the AG-1 had, uh, all its variants all had a uh, 74 uh, rate of fire, whereas the FG-42 has 70. So this means that even although you're not going to be able to put a lot more, or even though you're not going to be able to put as much lead down range as you would be able to with the AUG family. Um, this means that the FG42 is a lot easier to control in terms of recoil, and you're going to need it because of the fact that uh, it's very tough to uh, control. The rec it's very tough uh, for using the FG42 for long range cases because of the simple fact that you can't attach a scope on it. So that recoil control in terms of decreased rate of fire is very very important. Moving on to its accuracy, its accuracy remains the same from the uh, the original AUG A1 at 85. Now here's where things get a little bit hairy. Um, the recoil on the FG42 actually increases over the original AUG A1s by 1 to 69 rate of recoil. Yes, I know what you're thinking. Um, the this means that the FG42 is not ideal for anywhere. It's either you should it should only use it for either close range or middle range or extreme or like long range like sniper range because the FG42 is actually pretty damn accurate even without a scope. And uh, the only problem is is actually acquiring your target without a scope. So um, that's going to be a challenge in itself. But um, that's for you guys to um, you know decide anyway. So. Um, anyways, the recoil, like I said, is uh, is a very high 69 for the, on the FG42. Now, its recoil spread is uh, is actually a little bit better than the original AUG A1s. In all honesty, uh, even though it does have a high recoil statistic, the spread itself is actually not that bad on the FG42. Uh, but then again, I've only been using it for close quarters combat, like you should be anyway. So, um, just how effective the spread is, um, well, I guess I'll never fully be able to understand. Um, how bad, how bad, or how good it is. Recoil kickback on the FG42 is a little bit lower than the AUG A1, but still definitely there. You can definitely notice it. Recoil controllability overall on the FG42 is actually a little bit more difficult than the FG42 uh, than the AUG A1 because of the fact that it does not have a sniper scope, or it doesn't have the option to attach a sniper scope on it. So it's going to be kind of difficult uh, managing that recoil without a scope. So good luck there. Um, tap fire ability, it's definitely tap fireable. Um, it's just not easy to do because of the fact that, like I said, like I keep mentioning, it you can't attach a scope on the uh, on the FG42. You just combat won't let you. So unfortunately, what are you gonna do? Uh, sprint drawback. Sprint drawback on the FG42 is just like the AUG one. I'm not sure if they're identical, but they are. To my opinion, in my opinion, anyway, they are pretty similar. So well, there you have it. Draw speed. Draw speed on the FG42 is definitely faster than the uh, the original AUG A1. So there you have it as well. There. 
Draw speed, uh, actually, yeah, I already talked about draw speed. Center speed on the FG42 is, um, is a little, I feel that it's a little bit faster than the AUG one because it's just a necessity. It doesn't have, it doesn't make sense for a weapon like the FG42 to have slower center speed than the, uh, than the, uh, the rest of the combat arms, um, or the rest of your teammates, like, why? Um, why should your FG42 have a slower, slower center speed than do the weapons of your other teammates that can attach um, scope? You know, so it just doesn't make sense to me. So that's why I say the center speed on the FG42 is a little bit better than the rest. Moving on to the reload speed. The reload speed is actually pretty, pretty fast as well. Nowhere near as fast as the original AUG one, but it's still definitely pretty fast uh, for what it is and what its animation looks like. Moving on to the fire modes. The fire modes on the FG42 is only at, is only available in one uh, mode, and that's fully automatic only. It does not have a three-round burst function, so don't ask me anymore. Moving on to the uh, luck on the FG42. The lux uh, on the FG42 is actually pretty high. Uh, it's it's pretty much the polar opposite of the AUG1, in my opinion, of he getting headshots. So I, in my experience, anyway, I've gotten a lot more headshots with the. Uh, the um, FG42 than I have with the AUG1, so there you have it. Moving on to the ammo capacity, it's the standard 30 rounds of magazine and 90 reserve, nothing too special there. Um, key physical characteristics, so it, if you guys have never seen a picture of the FG42 before, it is a German made uh, Nazi weapon pretty much. Um, the, the the interesting thing about the FG42 is that its its detachable box magazine actually feeds in from the left. So that means that pretty much means that you have to be right-handed in order to use the FG42, which kind of sucks for you uh, left-handed people. So I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't understand based on the uh, the design of the FG42 why you would be able to use it left-handed. Just doesn't make sense to me. Anyways, um, that's that for the key physical characteristics. Muzzle noise. Muzzle noise is 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 uh it's lower than the AUG A1 but only slightly and it sounds a little bit more scratchy that I don't know if, how else I can describe that and uh, attachment options you can only attach magazine modifications no so scopes or suppressors because this is a World War II weapon um so yeah there you have it um fire team worthy yeah I guess so but it'd be better off if you actually had a scope on it uh quarantine worthy nah not really so frank personal opinions this FG42 is indeed the boss. It is a very worthy, um, what is it, what is it? It's a very, very worthy, uh, gun emporium very, uh, variant of the AEG A1. And definitely, I, I have a lot of fun using the FG42. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I definitely do recommend the FG42 to you guys who have not tried it out yet. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode or chapters.